Aloha, everybody, and thanks for joining us today where we're talking about all things small business and small business administration. Um, there's a lot going on all around Hawaii and all across the country as we come into the last days of um, our federal fiscal year. There'll probably be some excitement as we look and see what's happening with our budgets going forward. Um, but we're still keeping real busy with the small businesses here in Hawaii. Um, lots happening, as I said. One thing that came up recently, we opened the nominations for the Small Business Awards, SBA Small Business Awards for 2017. So you can find those nomination forms. We have six different categories, the Small Business Person of the Year, the Young Entrepreneur of the Year, Exporter of the Year, Entrepreneurial success, somebody who's had SBA's help before and now is a larger business, no longer eligible for small business assistance. And we also um, look to honor advocates out in our community who are helping support small businesses. So you can find those by going to our Small Business Development Center website, a quick four-page nomination form, a few quick questions to respond to that really measure the amount of success you've had, where you're taking your business, what your goals and missions are, and how you give back to the community. Great process, great awards, but we love to be able to recognize what small businesses are doing here in Hawaii. So please take a look at HISBDC dot org. You'll find them right there on the first page. Just scroll down a little bit and you'll see all the different categories. You can look at the criteria uh, for each award, a little bit different, and pick the one that might best fit somebody that you know that is really deserving of being honored for what they've accomplished, their achievements in our business community. So thanks for thinking about that. Today I'm going to be introducing you to a new resource here in Hawaii, um, one we're very proud to be involved with, our Veterans Business Outreach Center. These programs are, uh, have been around for the last couple years and they started out as a partnership with SBA and DOD to make sure that we were getting the support and services to those um, who have served our country so well, who sacrificed so much, perhaps had a first career in the military, and now are coming back into the civilian workforce or retiring, and they just have so many talents and skills, they want to do something else. So our Veterans Business Oppor Opportunity Center will be opening up, I said it wrong again, <laughs> didn't I, Dennis? Yeah, it's, right. it's Outreach Center. That's right. So that's, Dennis Kwok uh, is leading the charge to get this center open. So welcome uh, today to our program, Thanks Dennis. Thanks for having me, Jane. You know, appreciate I appreciate it. that you could make some time. Sure. But, um, you know, Dennis has a lot of skills and a lot of experience in helping small businesses get started, helping small businesses grow. Um, so we're happy to have him aboard. And we really are pushing off this center and already out in the community working with our Boots to Business program. But you'll be offering even more, won't you, Dennis? Uh, we hope so, yes. Mm -hmm. yeah, um, like you said, the uh, program has just started. Um, the uh, University of Hawaii at Hilo in a cooperative agreement with the Small Business Administration mm -hmm. and the Office of Veterans Development uh, has been awarded uh, the grant for um, this year. And we're really excited that uh, all the kind of programs that we can offer our veterans. Mm -hmm. they, came out, they came out with the VBOCs, Veteran Business Outreach Centers, um, several years ago. But we started out slowly in growing them. We were regional, so this is the first time we actually will have a center that's based in Hawaii, on island. Um, even though your host locally is University of Hawaii at Hilo, you're going to be located on Oahu, is that right? Yes, uh, that's kind of a, a weird kind of situation, but it's actually very, um, um, very uh, practical because mm -hmm. of the fact that we have three operating military bases on island with uh, Schofield uh, Joint Base Pearl Harbor as well as uh, K Bay or Kaneohe Marine Corps Base. Mm -hmm. And that doesn't mean that your services, uh, your consulting, your training, anything like that will be just on Oahu because you're going to end up serving a pretty big territory. You've got my district. <laughs> That's right. Uh, well, <laughs> yes, definitely. Uh, we have, uh, we're um, in agreement with serving, uh, of course, Hawaii and all the islands of Hawaii. Um, and um, Guam and American Samoa as well. Right. That's uh, There's a big veteran population in all these areas, even if there may not be active bases. Right. Um, but we've always had strong participation from the territory of Guam, from the territory of American Samoa. And though our, our bases here are pretty active, and we've been seeing a lot of activity with them over the last several years, um, but we do have a really strong community of veterans who are already in business as well. Mm -hmm. And a lot of the statistics show that veterans bring with them once they retire or leave the military, they bring a lot of skills that are very 
adaptive to being successful in business. Oh, I couldn't agree more. Um, the actual uh, veterans to entrepreneurship or entrepreneurs is actually a natural progression because mm -hmm. veterans like entrepreneurs are focused, uh, mission focused. Um, they have critical, they're critical thinkers, problem solvers. Uh, they have strong leadership and team management as well mm -hmm. as being ethical. Uh, uh -huh. These are all traits that veterans um, have a natural kind of uh, uh, their learned behaviors as well, but mm -hmm. um, they have a natural progression into mm -hmm. becoming good Yeah, uh, for the, through their years in service, they've sure. kind of been conditioned and those are expectations, so the behavior follows. Sure. And entrepreneurs or small business owners need those same skills mm -hmm. to kind of stay on task, stay on mission, mm -hmm. um, you know, work with employees, work as a team, work with others, um, and delegate tasks as well. And I think that's one very, very important thing that oftentimes small business owners have a hard time doing is recognizing what needs to be done and being able to delegate or work with others to accomplish yes, those I goals. Yes, I agree, definitely. So I think there's a natural affinity. Even some of our, you know, some of the, the businesses that we think of, mm -hmm. you know, as being successful in Hawaii, several that um, have been on Think Tech before mm -hmm. or even interviewed on my yes. my program, Raymond Jardine of Native Hawaiian of Veterans, Reg Baker himself is yes. a veteran. Yes. So um, you find them, you know, sometimes where you least expect it. Sure. You know, Statistics um, show yeah. that actually uh, veterans are 45% more likely to own a small business. Wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah it's, so um, that's a pretty high percentage. It is. It is. It's and um, out of all the, although the veteran population across the United States is relatively small, they account for about 9 to 10% of um, businesses Oh, um, out of the total population. Nine to ten percent. Yes, uh -huh. which is a tremendous uh, yeah, population. Yeah, that's a that's yeah. a good uh, you know concentration yes. in that area. But you got started working mm -hmm. with veterans, kind of working with SBA over the last couple years. Sure. Um, maybe well, first I guess tell us a little bit about yourself and your background in working with small businesses. Oh, okay. Uh, well, my most recent stint before um, joining the VBOC program was actually. Uh, as a business advisor with the Small Business Development Center. Mm -hmm. uh, I was an advisor there for about six, seven years, and mm -hmm. I had the privilege of working with you, too, for those <laughs> amount of times. And uh, during that time, we had um, you know, access to uh, lots of businesses, and many of them veteran-owned businesses. Mm -hmm. So um, whether it was uh, starting a small restaurant or starting a service-based business, um, I was fortunate enough to assist these small businesses, uh, whether it be in financing or uh, business planning or strategic planning. Mm -hmm. So it's your experience already mm -hmm. has connected you with small businesses. So when you help them with financing, what does that entail? Um, the financing end is actually um, a little bit more complicated and it really depends on mm -hmm. the business owner and what their needs are. So we first assess what their needs are, um, whether that's startup capital or working capital. Mm -hmm. and. Um, I bet a that. lot of people come to you saying right off the bat, I just need money. Yeah, you know? that is a common question. <laughs> yeah. And a, yeah, capital, a common capital, need. capital. Yeah. But it's not as easy as people think that mm -hmm. is. Uh, so there is a kind of a process, and usually that um, comes in the planning phases of starting your business or, in many cases, uh, actually uh, expanding your businesses mm -hmm. too. So you've already helped a lot of business navigate through that maze of getting started and then that hard part finding money if that's really sometimes internally sometimes from banks or other things but yeah. how do you approach that decision um well i think it's really like i said up to the owners as well as up to the business because mm -hmm. sometimes it's really out of my reach um, each owner has their own specific uh, kind of needs in mm -hmm. terms of capital and sometimes it's really going internally like you said mm -hmm. and asking family and friends but others is going through traditional channels like mm -hmm. uh, banks and credit unions mm -hmm. and utilizing your famous SBA loan programs. <laughs> <laughs> Could do a little well, plug. that's the right thing to <laughs> say. Yes. <Dennis. laughs> it really is a wonderful loan program mm -hmm. um, and uh, you know just talking about SBA loan programs um, I would really like it uh, you know if people are listening to this that mm -hmm. uh, I really hope that the um, uh, Patriot Express or other loan programs mm -hmm. are readily available for our veterans. I know we have a veterans mm -hmm. advantage program. Mm -hmm. and, um, it is really, um, it's really uh, an important, I guess, uh, program for our veterans mm -hmm. um, in terms of uh, getting their finance. Finances well, I think one of the things that these programs will do, and mm -hmm. particularly some of the loans that Dennis is referring to, um, SBA helps with a guarantee to the bank so a newer business a younger business um, can get the capital they need our veterans programs follow kind of the model or the format of the guaranteed loans but they usually have some changes in the interest rate or even a higher loan cap so it makes it easier 
for growing businesses to get the capital they need. Yes. And in going with you, Dennis, or sitting down to talk with you, mm -hmm. they you'd go over their their cash flow and their plans and, and also look at some of their regular expenses to kind of also see if they're kind of running lean and mean. Sure. If they have money that they may not recognize inside the business, mm -hmm. um, and when the right time to go and ask for a loan may be. Yes, uh, definitely. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's a, a many stages of actually starting a business, uh, but mm -hmm. it all starts with planning. And a very, very uh, robust plan is what mm -hmm. you need to go to the banks because they're going to, you know, break your business plan apart to see if you actually do need those funds and whether you're going to be a profitable business. Mm -hmm. And um, you have to be um, optimistic, but you also can't be too optimistic. Uh -huh. It's a really a fine line of being truth with, uh, truthful with yourself and your business mm -hmm. as well as um, having kind of a champion within the bank. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, and I think I, kn I know of some of the small businesses that you've worked with and have been very successful in helping them get capital at the right time. Mm -hmm. um, because sometimes, as you said, um, a lender doesn't necessarily want to entertain your proposal right. if you're really not ready for it mm -hmm. or if you're asking for more than um, you can actually repay because mm -hmm. nobody wants you to get into a bad situation. No, so sometimes your council has to redirect them, I would think. Oh, yeah, I, I believe so. <laughs> and a lot of the uh, success stories I have aren't really um, tied in with capital. It's actually, you know, uh, I've had businesses where we worked on the business plan and then we realized that business didn't have legs. And uh -huh. ultimately she decided it or the person didn't decide to start that business. Mm -hmm. And I think that in itself is a success story because I hope I kind of uh, steered her away from failing mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. a business. Yeah. Yes, that sometimes that's just as important yes, for a business owner to realize so. that this seems like a great idea yeah. or that that entrepreneur this seems like a great idea and I would love to execute on this but there isn't a market there isn't any money there and ultimately yes that's got to be part of your goal right. is to at least make some money so you can pay your costs and hopefully take a little bit home to put in your own pocket. That's right. So, That's very important. So the banks are going to look at that. They're going to look at your repayment ability. They got, are going to look at your credit. Yes. So, and that is something that we've even started with some soon-to-be veterans, mm -hmm. um, working with them on preparing. Mm -hmm. um, I think there's a big demand right now because our, our military numbers have gotten higher with uh, some of the conflicts that we've seen and the needs for defense across the world or need for support. Some of them, we're seeing a, a, a lot of them kind of um, cycling out of their years in service now. So uh, our Boots to Business program mm -hmm. has been going strong on all our bases here and you've been involved with uh, some of those programs. Yes. So, and I know some of those so a lot of those veterans are staying here, but probably the majority of them are moving away and getting into the SBA or the VBOC network sure. on the mainland. Um, but I think those vehicles really help them because they, they know I may have four months or I may have five months to mm -hmm. go and this is what I'm looking at. Yeah. So how, does, how do you see the, the Boots program working with them? Uh, actually, the genesis of the Boots program is really um, tied in with the Department of Defense Transition Assistance Program. So the DOD TAP um, is really um, geared toward helping our veterans uh, transition out of the military. Um, they have three tracks. The first is educational, where our veterans can get uh, education through um, more schooling as well as certifications. And the second is um, hiring or mm -hmm. employment, gainful employment through the private and uh, public sectors. Mm -hmm. And obviously the third, uh, but not least, is actually entrepreneurship or starting their own business. Mm -hmm. And uh, we found uh, the Boost of Business program is a Syracuse University two-day program mm -hmm. where we really concentrate on um, giving uh, kind of an expose to entrepreneurship, if you uh -huh. can say, uh, and uh, kind of a, a two-day uh, crash course on entrepreneurship for our veterans. And mm -hmm. the, it's proven to be very, very successful. Um, people found the biggest complaint they have is actually that the two days is not enough. Mm -hmm. So actually the two-day event is actually um, the start, and you can actually sign up for an eight-week um, free online um, course wow. offered mm -hmm. by Syracuse University, uh, which a lot of people have taken and they found it uh, to be of tremendous value. Mm -hmm. I think we've heard a lot about that. We're going to take a quick break, sure. but we'll be back to talk about Boots to Business, Reboot, and Hiring Our Heroes coming up here in Hawaii very soon. So thanks for joining us. We'll be right back.
Aloha, this is Reg Baker with Business in Hawaii. We're a show that broadcasts every Thursday at 2 o'clock. We would love to hear from you, and you can reach us in several different ways. We have a hotline that you can call in at 415-871-2474, or you can email us at thinktechhawaii.com, or you can tweet us at thinktechhi. Looking forward to hearing from you and seeing you on our next show. Aloha. Aloha, my name is Danelia, D-A-N-E-L-I-A. -E and I'm the other half of the duo, John Newman, welcome. We are co-hosts of a show called Keys to Success, which is live on the Think Tech Live Network series, weekly on Thursdays at 11 a.m. We're looking forward to seeing you then. Aloha. And thank you all for joining us again. We're just talking about uh, uh, veterans as small business owners and the services and support they can get from SBA and our latest program here in Hawaii, our vet Veterans Business Outreach Center with Denny Kwok. So Denny, thanks again. Oh, thanks you. for having me. Um, we were just talking a little bit about uh, the Boots to Business, a um, two-day program, yep. and we've been doing about 20 sessions a, a year? I believe so, yeah. Something um, like I think that. Uh, 20 to 22, mm -hmm. um, but that just covers Hawaii, and mm -hmm. obviously we have um, our base in um, um, Guam, mm -hmm. um, and uh, we'll be doing a couple over there as well. Mm -hmm. So we have, a, right now we're at uh, Joint Base Pearl Harbor, mm -hmm. we go to Schofield, mm -hmm. we get out over to the Marine Corps base, mm -hmm. Semper Fi. Yes. <laughs> uh, uh, and do you have military background? Uh, um, not myself. Okay. My father was a Marine. Okay. Uh, and one of my younger brothers was a Marine. Oh, very cool. So um, the first song I ever learned to play on the piano was the Halls of Montezuma. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I didn't follow that path myself. Okay. So, very but, cool. uh, you know, have a soft spot for the Marine Corps. Yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> so, and your family? You um, know, Nope, um, no, uh, we have no affiliation, unfortunately, with, uh, you know, yeah, we're you first know. generation immigrants, though. Oh, okay, yeah. so there's, well, you have a son? I do, I have two <laughs> sons, uh, so, yes, I have two sons, but uh, uh -huh. they're way too young to join. You know, yeah, well, th there's some time, and, you know, obviously you're taking on the, the patriotic mission and in, in helping the service to our, our veterans as well. Yeah, so. and I think it really is a great program, not just because, mm -hmm. you know, I've been tasked with uh, running it, but just because I think, uh, giving back to the, the military community is something that's uh, greatly um, mm -hmm. needed, really, mm -hmm. and especially during these times. Yeah. And, um, so this role will also give you um, kind of the task of creating greater awareness of, you know, veterans' contributions, what veterans have done as small business owners, as employers, that's yeah. creating jobs, you know, for others as well. Sure. So, um, and I know you kind of got involved and became intrigued with supporting our conducting some of the modules mm -hmm. in the Boots to Business programs on various bases. So yeah. as we looked at the VBOC process, um, we kind of moved you around to a lot more bases than just, uh, I think we were working with the Small Business Development Center primarily mm -hmm. over at the Marine Corps base. That's right. Um, and now you've been to all of them, and pretty soon you're going to be heading off for Guam to conduct a, a session with my branch manager, Ken Lujan, yes. at Anderson, I believe. That's Anderson yep. Air Force Base. Anderson Air Force Base. Uh, that would be on uh, the 26th and 27th. Okay. And I'll be definitely working with uh, resource partners over there, the SBA, the Small Business Development Center as, um, as well. Mm -hmm. Very good. Yeah. I mean, we've got a good network down there. Oh, yeah. And, and I think that one of the things that's probably important to say is um, even though these um, boots to businesses are um, on the base, mm -hmm. um, you don't have to be affiliated with that branch of the service. You can often, if seats are available, if you're a Marine, you know, get in, get onto Schofield, or if you're, you know, Navy, um, you can go to the Marine Corps, et cetera. Yes. So, so if you miss one, all you need to do is go and look at our schedule because it should be up at, at uh, sba.gov yes. as well and seek to enroll when it's the right time or talk to your, your counselor sure. you or can, you your can. transition counselor or your command and they know all about these courses as well or have the contacts to get you in touch. Mm -hmm. So some of the classes fill up really quickly depending on the, the scheduling, mm -hmm. um, and, but they're usually very enthusiastic and you hear some great stories um, from the veterans and what they're planning to do. Um, can you recall some of the interesting 
uh, businesses they were talking about starting? Sure. I mean, you have a really kind of a huge plethora of types of businesses mm -hmm. or industries that they uh, it spans. Um, but the more interesting ones I've found were actually um, involving agriculture. Mm -hmm. um, I found that a lot of veterans find uh, agriculture uh, kind of a nice industry to go into, and that could be aquaponics or that could be um, in terms of, um, you know, um, solar agriculture, I mean, involving solar energy and mm -hmm. agriculture. Uh, very, very new fields, uh, a lot of changes happening in these fields, uh, mm -hmm. and I find it interesting that uh, that they find farming or um, agriculture such a kind of an enjoyable industry mm -hmm. to go into. Is it perhaps related to where some of them grew up or no, some it, of them farm? You haven't that's seen what that I connection. Thought, yeah, uh -huh. I mean, it's really not. I think that it's actually the work that they do, they find it therapeutic, mm -hmm. especially for our uh, service disabled veterans. Mm -hmm. And I found um, even just uh, among my clientele, um, we have a couple or two or three. Um, uh, service disabled veterans that are actually going into agriculture see here in Hawaii mm -hmm. so um, that's an interesting field and I find that kind of correlation yeah um, that's, unique ah, yeah yeah that that is kind of interesting we've seen people coming out wanting to start like auto detailing or or mobile garage um, restaurants uh, restaurants yes. we've heard there's a great taqueria up in uh, Wahiwa now. That's right. You got to give you know, a shout so out to Takaria. Uh, mm -hmm. It's actually a client of my former colleague, uh, Miss Lori Hiramatsu. Uh, mm -hmm. she's, if she's listening, but uh, yeah, uh, the Takaria business has uh, grown exponentially, and they're doing mm -hmm. really well. And they did and get an SBA loan, if I'm correct. Uh, all right. <laughs> and and I hear that people drive from Pearl City and Iea and the Pearl Harbor base to get up there to go and get some really good food. Yeah, so. <laughs> uh, very, very good food. Um, unfortunately, me and Lori actually went up there a couple months ago, and they were closed. So, mm. <laughs> yeah, we just went on an off time. Did but. they start a website yet? You know, I, uh, that get their I don't schedule know. Exactly. Up there. Get that <laughs> schedule going. So, yeah. and we've seen husband and wife um, starting fitness training teams. Sure. We've seen IT services. So, it really covers the gamut of what skills or interests they're bringing mm -hmm. out. And yeah. for many, they're like a you know a second time around, a second career, mm -hmm. where maybe in the military they didn't do something that really tap their creativity and some of them are, are pursuing those areas as well. Yeah, And a lot of our veterans uh, that, um, that kind of uh, transition out in Hawaii, they actually stay. Um, mm -hmm. I have a perfect client, uh, his name is, uh, he owns um, Ken Nays uh, Southern Barbecue out in IAEA. Uh -huh. And uh, you know, I helped him start his business uh, when I was with the SPDC and I'm still helping him now uh, mm -hmm. under the direction of VBOC. And uh, you know, he's grown his business from just an idea to a very, very successful venture. Mm -hmm. And he's in the steps of uh, actually uh, hopefully uh, expanding. Oh, that's great. Yeah. That's great. Uh, so if you're in the area in uh, IAEA, <laughs> please check out Ken Nays as well. Yeah, I got to give a little shout out to him. We're going to have to do a, uh, a listing of some sure. of these businesses, yeah. you know. So, Especially food related. Well, <laughs> well, you're even looking at, you know, are there more veteran success stories out there that you can collect so it is easier to really show people upfront personal what veterans have accomplished yeah yeah um, that's in the process um, we're still working on that with our mm -hmm. resource partners um, mm -hmm. but just off the top of my head we have a few definitely mm -hmm. veterans uh, owned businesses that uh, have shown tremendous growth mm -hmm. and have shown success yeah. yeah well I think that's a great thing to bring up since Dan Danny is looking for those stories if you're watching this and you're a veteran business owner you may want to give him a call uh, or send him an email message and I'm sure he'd be happy to talk to you about your business or even consider you in his success story catalog. Where do they get in touch with you, Denny? Uh, you can email me at dkwok at hawaii.edu. Hawaii.edu. That's yep. a very, very simple one. And a lot of the veterans, too, or a lot of people who are exiting the military come out and they want to come to our Boots to Business. Mm -hmm. um, they want them to be a little longer. They'd like it to be more in-depth. Mm -hmm. I understand that Hawaii has one of the highest... Um, rates of enrollment in that eight-week online class of anywhere across the country. And it may be just we're used to being remote out here, so we tap into some of those resources. But I heard it's a really good class, and it's very, very productive. Mm -hmm. They, Even though they are online mm -hmm. for most of the curriculum, there are some interactive sessions, mm -hmm. and that they really come out with um, a real product that uh, your business plan, you know, a good start on your financials. So goes really goes the step beyond what we can do in a two-day boots to business or reboot that uh, is for veterans who are outside um, or already exited the military and maybe have a business. So um, 
yeah. the Syracuse eight eight uh, week course or um, is one thing, but then our reboot is now we're going to be starting to do some of those around the island, right? Yes, we hope so. And mm -hmm. um, the next one is scheduled for, um, let me get my dates here correct, uh, mm -hmm. uh, January 5th and 6th uh, on the Big Island. Um, okay. Because uh, the whole purpose of the reboot is actually the same curricula as uh, the Boosted Business, but it's really geared toward uh, already uh, transitioned out veterans and mm -hmm. it's not held on basis. So hopefully we'll be, do, uh, we had one on Maui um, mm -hmm. about a month and a half ago and we'll be doing one on Big Island. Mm -hmm. And we would like to schedule a couple more on um, Oahu as well. Mm -hmm. So you get it, you are getting around to all the, the veteran communities across the state. Yes, and I can't and forget can... American Samoa and uh, Guam mm -hmm. as well, I'm sorry. Right. But, uh, we and definitely yeah. will, uh -huh. uh, you know, uh, the, this program is unique, or uh, as you can mm -hmm. just it, very, very similar to you, is that uh, geographically is very, very spread out uh -huh. across oceans. Uh, but uh, well, we're going to work with you, Danny. I hope so. so. We're, we'll yes. be we'll be working to okay. you know we we do expect that we're going to get a great response to this program, um, and you know bring in. I'm hoping some longer term consulting clients as well that uh, businesses are really kind of ready to kick it up and go to the next level. Um, so maybe longer term consulting clients with you, um, maybe get into our emerging leaders course as well, so that they um, are finding the support and the success, yes. you know, that they deserve. Um, or we can help them, you know, get there a little bit faster because that's what the counseling and training programs are all about mm -hmm. is avoiding those big hairy mistakes. Mm -hmm keeping the money in the business mm -hmm. and then also, you know, kind of accomplishing, fulfilling those dreams, mm -hmm. you know, uh, that you have, supporting the family, you know, all those things no, that you want to do. Yes. So, um, so it, uh, any things, you know, that, what, what are you, are you mission focused with this now? Where do you want to take the, the VBOC? Um, I definitely want to fall within the parameters of what we can do in terms of a participation in the Boosted Business Program, as well as a reboot. Mm -hmm. um, my concentration is really um, finding out what the needs of the veterans uh, business community here are and kind of localizing a lot of the programs to uh, suit the veterans' needs, really. Um, okay. Uh, whether it's through one-on-one -on -one counseling or more um, events training, um, it's uh, kind of a, still a nascent program, so we're still trying to uh, mm -hmm. kind of mold that program, this program, to really service our mm -hmm. veterans. So that's another reason to get in touch with you, too, is with ideas or opportunities oh, yeah. with the, the Veterans Business Outreach Center I couldn't agree well. with you more, Jane. Uh, it's really about uh, kind of a community-based um, kind of, uh, I don't know if I'm using this word right, but definitely got use, utilizing our community to give ideas on how we can make the VBOC more applicable to our mm -hmm. veterans. Okay, we're going to have a really robust program. I, I can so. tell. I can tell already. Um, we're going to be going out today with just a, a couple of other quick announcements that may be of interest to you. Uh, we have our Focus on the Future conference coming up next week, um, October 5th and 6th. It's um, being offered uh, by the University of Hawaii and the Hawaii Business Roundtable. It is on um, cybersecurity. It will cover medical research, um, a cool program to check out. A lot of people will be there down at Hilton Hawaiian Village. And to get that information, this is a long, a long URL, www.uh.hawaii.edu. Um, conference backslash ff focus on future 2016.asp i would say google focus future hawaii <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then we'll be talking about uh, shop small business saturday that's kind of the counterpart to black friday and cyber monday we got to take care of our small business and our restaurants here in hawaii that'll be coming up november 28th and you'll be hearing more from sba on how to participate in that activity whether you're a small business or you're just a hawaii consumer who wants to go out there and support our small business thanks very much for joining us today